Hey. Hey. Rach, uh, you still looking for a place? Yeah, why? Okay, there's this guy Warren from the museum, and he's going on a dig for like two years. And he's got this great place. He needs a sublet. So, uh, you interested? That sounds great. Yeah. I'd love to live at Warren's. I love Warren. <laughs> thank you. Oh, don't thank me. Uh, you want to thank someone, thank the volcano that erupted thousands of years ago, killing but perfectly preserving an entire civilization. <laughs> Here's Warren's number. Oh, this is great. I'm going to call him right now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay, you go call him. I saw it. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm talking about that which you already know but won't admit. You know, that you love her again. You re-love her. Look, I do not re-love her. I can't believe you won't just admit it. Okay, just promise me that you won't do anything stupid. Look, we're just friends now, okay? Why would I do anything stupid? Ugh. Well, the apartment is already subletted. I mean, this is just hopeless. I'm never gonna find anything. You can live with me. What? 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 I would love to live with you, Ross. That, that's great, thank you. Well, I'm, I'm just glad I could, you know, help you out. <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys. This is so, so not stupid. <laughs> Ross, Ross, you have no idea what this means to me. I mean, I, mean, I was going to be homeless. You've just saved me. You're my hero. Oh, <laughs> hero? I, I don't know. Well, all right. <laughs> oh, I have to go tell Monica what a wonderful brother she has. Oh, oh, oh please. <laughs> You're gonna say things now, aren't you? No, no, I won't. But I should tell you this. This exact same thing happened to my roommate, Denise. She moved in with a guy who was secretly married to her and he said he didn't love her, but he really did, and it just blew up. And that's how she ended up living with me. Okay, that's a lie. Oh, I was just clearing some space for your stuff. Oh, thanks. But listen, I was just at Monica's, and she and Chandler had a big fight, and they're not moving in. What do you mean they're not moving in? They're, they're still moving in, right? <laughs> no, no, they just had a big blowout over what to do with my room. What? Over a stupid room? I know, I feel kind of bad for him, but I'm also really psyched, because now I don't have to move in here. Oh, no, no yeah, no, that part's great. <laughs> Uh, you're never gonna believe it. Uh, Monica and Chandler moving in again. <laughs> it's great news, right? I mean, for them, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, but on the bright side, we get to be roommates again. Yeah, you know, um, about that, um, Ross, I, I really appreciate your offer to let me move in and everything, but don't you think it's gonna be weird? Why? 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 Why would it? Why would it be weird? Well, you know, be, because of us, because of our history. No. 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 It would only be weird if we were still in that place. I mean, are you still in that place? No, not at all. Good. Me neither. <laughs> so it's not a problem. We're just two friends who happen to be roommates. Okay, but Ross, eventually you and I are gonna be dating. Really, we are. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have a boyfriend, you're gonna have a girlfriend. Oh, you, that'd be great. But you know what, if you think it's gonna be okay, we'll just work out a system. You know, it'll be like in college. I'll hang a hanger on the door and put a sign, come back later, I'm getting lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't think of that. <laughs>